and tibia plateau fractures. Two materials are available, stainless steel and titanium. In this exercise, we use stainless steel. The tip of the screw has a new design with a self-drilling and self-tapping flute, which allows introduction of this screw in a not-too-hard bone without any pre-drilling. Instruments and implants are stored in a special tray. For our exercise, we basically need only these three instruments. A parallel wire guide where one sleeve is adjustable, a cannulated screwdriver, and the direct measuring device for wires from 2 to 2.8 millimeters. There are two additional guides available. The one on the left is for the minimally invasive or percutaneous approach, while the other guide allows the angle of the introduction to be altered. We need these implants. Three 2.8 millimeter guide wires which have a threaded tip. For every procedure, new wires should be used. Three cannulated screws and two or three washers. The patient lies on his back on a radiolucent table. The fracture has been reduced with a slight valgus impaction of the head fragment. This procedure can either be performed percutaneously or through a small exposure lateral to the subtrochanteric area. A K-wire is introduced anteriorly along the femoral neck in order to indicate the antiversion and overall direction of the planned screws. The first 2.8 millimeter guide wire is introduced parallel to the orientation wire and its position is checked under fluoroscopy. If the first wire in the head and neck is correctly positioned, the orientation wire may be removed. We now use the new parallel wire guide. The movable sleeve may be locked at a certain distance and rotated around the first wire, always remaining parallel to it. We now introduce the second and third guide wire in the desired position. The reduction and placement of the guide wires is once more checked with fluoroscopy in two planes. Measurement of the screw length using the direct measuring device. The new self-drilling and self-tapping 7.3 mm screw can now be inserted with the cannulated screwdriver. Only in very hard cortical bone will it be necessary to pre-drill the near cortex with a 4.5 mm drill bit. The use of washers may prevent the screw head from sinking in. The two remaining screws are inserted accordingly, and the guide wires are carefully removed. Inspection of the screw position in the femoral head. In fact, the screws could be even a little longer. Here is our clinical example in a two-year follow-up x-ray.